hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to teach you how you can add tailwind css into your react native app i've been receiving a lot of requests on how i set up my project and how i use tailwind classes into react native so today i decided to make a video about this i'll show you guys two ways you can add tailwind css into your react native app so first let's create an application go to react native's website and hit get started you will see two ways to create an application in react native one is using expo and other is cli we're going to use expo so let's just copy this command to create an application open the terminal and just paste this command here and we're going to change this project name to react native tailwind css then hit enter and it's gonna take a few seconds to load all the boilerplate code so let's just wait for a few seconds okay it is finished and uh, now we can close this and i've already opened the project into vs code so let me just drag that here so this is our react native project and as you can see we have all the boilerplate code this is the app.js component this, this is the default component let's try to run our application by using npm run ios command this will run your application on your ios simulator so make sure you install the xcode for that Okay, so our application is running and as you can see currently we are using style sheet to center this text But we're not going to use these styles We're going to use tailwind classes and there will be two ways you can add tailwind classes First way is to use this package is called tailwind react native classes This is the easiest way to use tailwind classes So let's just copy this command and open the terminal into your vs code and copy that here Okay, so it's being installed now let's just close the terminal and uh, now we can import this library and use it to style our application so let's just import it here tw from twrnc now we can remove these styles and start using our tailwind classes and the way we can do that is use a style object and then we pass the tw object with backticks and inside these backticks we can use all the tailwind classes that we want so let's use flex1 this is not going to change anything so let's just uh, justify this to center justify center and item center this is going to center the text so let's save this and as you can see this is being centered that means our implementation is working so let's add more styles let's give it a background color of black bg black okay we can't see the text because it was already black so let's change this text to hello world and now let's give it a style using our tailwind classes let's make it white now you can see the text and let's make it a little bigger using the text 3xl class you can check out all of these tailwind classes on their documentation page i'll leave the link below we have styled our text but we can't see the status bar text because it was already black so let's change the status bar style to light this will change all the text in the status bar to white like this okay so now let me show you how you can create a basic button inside react native using tailwind classes so let's create a touchable opacity and let's move our text inside this now let's style this to make it look like a button so let's add our style Let's add our TW object and give it a background of teal 500. Okay, the background color just changed. Now let's add a padding of 3. And let's make it round using the rounded LG class. Okay, now it's looking like a button and it is pressable. So this is the way you can add Tailwind classes into your React Native app now we don't need these style sheets so let's just remove them so this was the easiest way you can add tailwind css into your react native app but this is not the way i use for my react native apps so the second way is to use another library which is called native wind so, and native wind is basically using all the tailwind classes to style the react native application so let me show you how you can use native wind to style your app first of all let's go to the expo tab and see how we can set up this into our app first of all we're gonna install native wind so let's just copy this let's open our terminal and we're going to install native wind like this 
let's see what else we need to install so we need to install tailwind css as a dev dependency so let's just copy this and we're going to install tailwind css as well like this next we're going to add a tailwind configuration file using the command npx tailwind css in it so let's just copy this command and run this into our terminal This has created a Tailwind configuration file which contains all the setting and all the contents for the Tailwind CSS. Now we're gonna change the contents of this file using these. So let's just copy the contents from here. And let's paste them here. So the contents are the file paths or the directory paths that can use Tailwind classes. Let's say you have a screens folder in your project that you can specify here and that will mean all the files in the screen folder can use Tailwind classes. Similarly, you can add other folders here like components. So let's just copy this and add components folder that will mean all the files in the components folder can use Tailwind classes. Now let's see what else we need to do next. So next we're going to add Babel plugin for native Win. So let's just copy this plugin and uh, let's open our Babel configuration file and add that here. Now I think our configuration is done and now we can use the Tailwind classes like this. We can use the class name and specify all the class names here. Now if we're using React Native CLI, this process will be same for that as well. You need to install Native Win, Tailwind CSI, change the contents of configuration file, then add the plugin, then you can use the class names like this. So let's uh, move to our project and at the bottom you can see as we made a change in Babel configuration, now we need to restart our application. So make sure you restart your project after making the change. Now we should be able to use the class names instead of these TW objects in the style property. So let's just remove this and change this to class name. Like this. Okay, I think we need to restart our server. So let's just uh, close the server and uh, use the command npm run ios. Okay, now we are using the class name instead of the style property. So let's just change all of the style properties to class name. Let's change this to class name and add the double quotes. When I save this, you won't see any change because we are already using the same Tailwind classes. So let me just change all of these styles. Now we have converted all the styles to class names and we're using Tailwind CSS from native wind. Now let's add a shadow around this button to see if that works. Shadow medium and let's give it the shadow color of gray 400. Now you can see the shadow around the button. Let's change the background color to orange. Okay, so similarly you can add other styles and create beautiful layouts and designs using Tailwind classes. So this was how you can add Tailwind CSS into your React Native app and using the Tailwind classes you can design your React Native application. I'll leave the link of the GitHub repo for this project into the video description. If you still have any questions about anything you can ask them into the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And uh, this is it for this video. See you in the next video.